Hi, my name is Darren Darling. I'm the product manager here at Ideal Tridon. And today with me is Watt Crockett, the product development engineer. And we will be showing you how to properly size a hose clamp around your hose. Okay, we'll start with some general terms about sizing hose clamps. Um, there's generally a three digit designation, for instance, size 32. And that size is really tied back to a maximum and a minimum diameter of our catalog. So what, how do you size a clamp? Well, as I mentioned earlier, the number designation refers to uh, reference to a diameter. And the way you do that is you take the number designation, let's say size 32, and if you divide that by 16, that will give you the hose ID or in this case would be a two inch ID. So a hose ID of two inches um, in general means that the hose OD is about a half inch larger. So we're really looking for a clamp that opens up to about a two and a half inch diameter for a max diameter. So what Watt was saying about the outside diameter of the hose is contingent on the wall thickness of the hose. Wall thicknesses can range any, like what mentioned, can range from a uh, quarter inch to sometimes half inch, depending on the materials that are within the wall. Sometimes there's fabric helixes, sometimes steel wire helixes. So the wall thickness will be relative to the materials inside. So Darren, there's a couple of ways to measure this. Um, if, if you have a pie tape, they're commercially available. Um, you can actually measure the diameter around the hose and in this particular case um, I'm coming up with right at um, two and a half inches so it kind of fit the math in this time in this mm -hmm. occasion there's other ways to do it um, obviously you can use calibers if you have something that you know anything even a, a tape measure can measure the hose ID, OD but generally you wanna know what's the largest dimension that I need to pass over so that you can choose that clamp from the catalog. What I might do is just demonstrate this real quick for you. We measured this to be a two inch ID hose. We measured the OD to be about two and a half inches. We're now gonna take a fitting. And in this case, our fitting has what we call a barb. So we're gonna place this hose over the, the fitting. And now all of a sudden, this two and a half inch dimension may grow a little bit because we've got that barb that I talked about. So I'll just pick up a pair of calibers and I'll measure this. And we've actually grown to about two and five eighths. So we would wanna go again to the catalog and make sure we get a clamp that's gonna at least pass over that dimension. Some fittings are smooth, some fittings have barbs. It just depends on determining that maximum diameter that you need to pass over. So what, what you're saying is, we got a size 32 clamp right. that we looked through the catalog to determine this is the clamp for this hose. I put it on, it goes over the hose, but it doesn't go over the barb portion of the hose. Correct. correct. So it's too tight, maybe too small. Correct. So it appears to me, we need to go a size up right. to a possibly a size 36. Yeah, yeah. See what that does. So I have a size 36 worm gear clamp here. Fits nice and smooth over both the hose portion and the internal barb portion of the fitting. So that's why it's important to really kind of put your hands on if you can or know your dimensions of the, of the connection because you've always got to account for that largest diameter that the clamp has to pass over. So. so today we went over how to properly size a clamp. And you will find within our catalog on our website, idealtridon.com, that we offer a wide variety of clamps and sizes. Yeah, so thank you for joining us today. And please check out our video of how to choose the right style clamp for your application. 